What is going on, Abe Nation? This is my third and final video for the night, I promise. But I had to drop this video because it kind of reinforces what I said in the last video, which is exactly why I want you guys to pay attention and watch it till the very end. I know that a lot of you guys are just encouraged because of the AMC share price, which makes me kind of uh, sad. I'm a little disappointed. Now you already know I'm going to ask you to go ahead and smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm shares this video with as many apes as possible because every ape needs to see this. And for the love of God, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I drop a video because I drop content just like this every single day, multiple times a day. So, without any further ado, let us go ahead and get into the video. So today, I've got a clip to play for you. This clip features Ben Emmons, or Emmons, I don't know how the hell to pronounce his name, but this dude is from Medley Global Advisors. He's not a dumb guy. He's not dumb money. And I think that you're going to really like the outlook that he has on AMC stock. He talks about it as a reopening play. He also talks about it as a fundamental play, which is exactly kind of what I was hinting at in the last video. Because before, we all know that AMC wasn't a fundamental play. And I've said this before in so many videos, but lately the narrative has changed. And I said that in my last video, so you already know this. The narrative has changed, but some people had this vision. Some people had the vision long before we did. We just jumped in as a squeeze player for this to be a squeeze play for us. And it has, you know, provided us with a tremendous opportunity. But you know what? What if uh, part of the reason it's going to squeeze is because of the fundamentals of the company? Because the fundamentals of the company are going to change by surprise. Take all these shorts by surprise. We all know that they're shortened because of fundamentals. But we've also learned that lately, these suckers don't just short because of fundamentals. They short because they can and because of all this other crap they've got going on, watch my previous videos if you're confused by that statement because I do not have time to reiterate in this video. Anyhow, without any further ado, I'm going to play this clip for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, yeah, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'll see you guys after the video. With our discussions that we had last year about the reopening of the economy, there was so much doubt about it. But we had much, you know, faith in that reopening. And what's a bellwether of the reopening? That's AMC as one example. And so when I looked at it at that time, I knew it was a obviously a stock that was somewhat in distress. And uh, it was also in the sense that you have a lot of debt in there. But I also felt like if the reopening is real and it's going to be sustained, then companies like this will become very profitable. I think this is what this is doing. Yes, it's extraordinary volatility. And you have it's not for the faint of heart. But at the same time, you also look at this fundamentally, the stock expresses that a company like this, post the, the pandemic, can become profitable. So I think it's a, it's a good investment. Okay. There are, according to Y charts, I think eight analysts that cover the stock, Ben. The average price target is $5.10. The stock is over 50. I mean... I know a lot of people have strong opinions about sell-side analysts, but $5 price target, stocks at 50? Square the dots. Yeah, that's a tough dollar dot to square. I mean, you know, if you, if you, I guess, really follow it, that according to those analysts, you would be pretty concerned because you think, okay, this is way overvalued. And I think what you have to look at it more in a broader context, you know, and on the one hand, you have here companies like this that have been severely hit by, by the pandemic. So as it's been shut off and then starts to reopen, that naturally comes with that major volatility. And it just drives up the stock, stock price in addition that you're getting through the options market significant amount of volume too. Then there's, of course, the company that's really trying to restructure its balance sheet, taking advantage, actually, of these volatility spikes in the stock. And that too actually has helped the stock move higher. So there is, in that sense, I think, Versus the analyst, a bit of a disconnect here from what the company is doing and what the stock is saying yeah. about the reopening of the economy. And I think this is where I'm coming from. More broadly, micro speaking, I think this is about the reopening play. And I think the analyst may be too bearish for that matter. Well, maybe the market's too bad. I think the, the last time I looked, the corporate bonds are trading at 85 cents of the dollar. I mean, not terrible, but I mean, 85 cents and not one dollar. I mean, the bond market seems to be telling kind of a different story on AMC. 
that it's an interesting angle here, Brian, because if you look at that, the bond market, I guess it's trading at 85 cents. It's still pretty high yielding bonds, but it was much higher yielding uh, back in December when the stock was like indeed at five dollars. And here, too, the company has made it clear that they want to use any proceeds from the stock sales to support um, the balance sheet by bringing down the debt. And that is the reason why the stock price is, yeah. uh, sorry, the, the bond price has been going up. It's interesting to note, too, that as the bond price goes up, that also the open interest on put options is going up on the stock. But that has much to do with the dilution risk that you do take a bit as an, as a, as an equity holder, right? Okay. If they do sell more stock, you get a bit dilution, right? But the bonds improving. That's a good sign for the balance sheet. If they can continue the strategy, the balance sheet will be having a lot less debt, more balanced. To me, that's a better outlook. If you think about this particular company, think about the economy. Yeah. Very, very, one of very companies. quickly, very yeah. quickly, Ben. And I'm sorry to jump in, but you, you wrote about $100 oil the other day. I love your notes, by the way. Just really smart stuff and a must read for me. You think you're going to get $100 oil? Yeah, that's a good question, Brian. I, I know there's a lot of dynamics going on, right? I, and so on the one hand, you have um, this really tight oil market because you now currently the production of the drawdown on the inventories is very large and the production hasn't picked up just not as much. And we have huge demand out there because which is not only U.S. has been reopening, but think about what's happening in Europe how that is going to play out. So there's been a, a good bull run here for the, for the crude market. And will you hit that, that, that historic mark? We'll see, right? It, it definitely has more potential for upside. That, that I think from here, that's the case.